Hey there, this is Andrew Emmons, VP of Product at UITV. Uh, we're here today to talk about what our designer workflow looks like in a React Native world. And what we're going to demonstrate today is this is a, a version of our the React Native binding running on OS X. Uh, as we talked about previously, uh, with our engine that can go across more than 11 platforms, uh, this brings the full React Native stack to all those platforms which were previously un unattainable. So once it's there on an OS X running in our engine, uh, you want to be able to leverage uh, the, our After Effects workflow, our designer workflow. And this demonstration here shows a typical screen that, that you'd want to build. It's what we call a product description screen. It has a blurred hero image uh, in the background, uh, uh, image in the foreground, some text and some description text. And all the visuals that you see here are done through the designer workflow and all the business logic is done via React Native. And I'll show, how that, show you what that looks like in a second. Uh, just to, to show some characteristics of this particular uh, set of screens and controls, what's really key here is to notice that uh, all the animations, the fact that they, they come in in an orchestrated way using the, the really detailed Bezier curves and easing that the designer wants, uh, showing how all the different pieces uh, have a staggered start time and end time. It's just the exact look and feel that the designer was looking for. All that is done through uh, the Adobe After Effects tool uh, about somebody who cares about those kind of nuances and all the business logic is, uh, is done via React Native using the syntax and, and things that React Native bring to the table that developers like. I'll just show a little bit of what that looks like. Uh, so starting with the, the typical file, uh, you'd have nor your normal imports that you would have for various controls. And then to leverage the, the After Effects piece, um, again, this is a, an optional piece with our, our binding. You could just very well use uh, the skin them the way the normal way through JSX. But if you wanted to have that complete control and to leverage the After Effects designer workflow, you could use our um, our other in, uh, extensions, which add various tags to the JSX that let uh, to let this happen. So an example here is the composition tag, where the the source is being defined in an external file. This is an export from our, our designer de developer workflow, and this is is defining now. Uh, the, the, the position and look and animations of, a, of the particular view here and set of um, children views. And what we're able to do is add additional tags that reach in there and to, to, to bind the, the components within that external file to a component within React Native uh, via our, our ref syntax. And once that's done, the developer can interact with that just like any other React Native component. And you see here how you know, they're just setting the text here based on the movie title. And that really helps bridge the gap between the, the, the visuals and the React Native business logic. And you can do things like even hot reload the, the, the contents. So we're changing the, the contents there of that particular text control. And then as we, we, I didn't hit load or anything like that, but the system automatically, once I save it, detects that we've, we've changed the file and the, it, it reloads the, the new uh, bundle. So that, that's it. That's how we're able to take these two worlds, someone who cares about the visuals and the motion, let them care about that, and then someone who cares about uh, writing in React Native and let them uh, do the business logic in that, and we're marrying the best of both worlds. Thanks for listening.